Over in the United States, volcanologist Harry Glicken takes this photo of Mount St. Helens on May 17, 1980. What follows are some of the best known images of what will happen here tomorrow, starting at 8 hours, 32 minutes, 11.4 seconds, Pacific Daylight Time. Three kilometers to the east on Mount Adams, a hiker takes these photos. 56 kilometers to the northwest, this image is taken. Somewhere further, an 8 millimeter film camera records this. As for Maurice and Katya, they did not film or photograph this eruption because they could not see or hear it. J'ouvre la télévision et je vois un journaliste qui parle d'une énorme explosion du Saint-Hélène. Euh, je dis à Katia, regarde, on a raté ces explosions, c'est même pas croyable. J'étais d'une humeur massacrante. As ash descends on the surrounding area, Katya and Maurice make their approach. Katya and Maurice will spend three months amid the ash, monitoring, photographing, studying this force. And little by little, they and their fellow researchers will paint a clearer picture of the event with numbers like 2.8, the number of cubic kilometers of land cast off by the mountain, 25,000, 
The eruption's force measured in atomic bombs like the one that the United States dropped on Hiroshima. 57, the official human death toll. <laughs> 